panicked retreat. Protesters fled from Tahrir Square on Tuesday after Iraqi security forces unleashed tear gas, water cannons and live ammunition. Hundreds were injured in clashes between police and protesters, many of whom are angry at the government. What makes them different from Saddam? Show us asphalt streets. Show us a city where everything works, reconstruction, work, public services. We have none of that. For many protesters, the economic situation in the oil-rich country is a key issue. Specifically, they cite youth unemployment, which stands at close to 25%, as well as a lack of access to electricity and water, and political corruption as the key problems. In other cities across the country, including Najaf, a large number of young people took to the streets to voice their discontent. No one is helping us, no one is supporting us, we're giving our blood, we're getting hurt, our youth is gone and we have no results. Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi has not faced protests this serious since forming his government nearly a year ago. Unless tensions are resolved, these latest protests could signal a new period of instability in Iraq.